Okay, I'm going to do a really brief video on just what it means to find intervals of increasing and decreasing behaviors of a function. So let's look down here at this graph. We have a cubic function. And what we notice is that, see it goes up and then it goes down, it goes back up again. Well, intervals of increasing or decreasing. So here are two critical points. In, and what do we notice? I'm going to do this and do this. From right here, from, and this would keep going down. So from negative infinity all the way up to negative 1, the graph is increasing. But then look what happens between negative 1 and 3. It's decreasing. And then once you get at 3 and beyond, without touching, it is increasing again. And these are the intervals. This is how you would show that. So there is a method by which you do that. You find the critical points by taking the first derivative, setting it equal to 0 to find the x values. But you also have to find discontinuities because if a graph, if it's a rational function, there's going to be discontinuities, and that impacts what the graph looks like. You're going to name all the intervals, and then you're going to choose a point. with Because you're not always going to have the, what the graph looks like. That's easy. You're just going to be given information. You have to figure out what the graph looks like. So when you name all the intervals, like I did here, you're going to choose a point in each interval and you're going to plug that point into the first derivative, and it's going to determine whether the graph is increasing or decreasing. So for example, between negative infinity and negative 1, I'm going to keep it easy. I'm probably going to choose negative 10, because that's a really easy number to work with. Between negative 1 and 3, another really easy number to work with is 0. And from 3 to positive infinity, I'd probably use 10. We'd take each of those, and we would plug them in. So we'd plug into the deriv derivative. We'd plug in f prime of negative 10, f prime of 0, f prime of 10. And we don't even care what the, the number value is. All we want to know is, is it increasing or decreasing? And that's what you're going to do. So when we plug negative 10 into here, the result's going to be positive. The graph's going to be increasing. When we plug in f of z, f prime of 0, it's negative. The graph will be decreasing. When we plug 10 into the derivative, so f prime of 10, we're back to positive and the graph is increasing. And this is how you show the work. And then the next video will be an example step-by-step. Step. That's it.